Ready, hunt! Welcome to Chef Steak. I'm your host, Michael Zavoyeris. Today, I'll be bringing you, I'm sure you know, but I'll tell you anyway, news on Antonio Brown. This is Chef Steak. Antonio Brown has been doing what he does best recently, causing drama, um, being a locker room cancer. So, earlier today, um, he demanded a release from the team because they voided his $30 million um, guaranteed money. And they took, because of him not paying a fine, and posting on social media. Plus, he was, um, he recorded, um, the phone call with him and Raiders head coach John Gruden. Uh, yeah. So, with all that going on, AB demanded a release. And I believe an hour later, his wish came true. He gets released by the Raiders. Um, here's the video of AB's reaction to his release from the team. Hey, Lassa, let me see it. Look at Adam Schefter. The Raiders. Free! Bro, I don't know you have any! Oh! Oh! Let's go! Let's go! Oh, fuck it, nigga. Oh! The freedom bell ring got me fly like a free! Fly like an eagle! <laughs> Let's go! Free! Let's go! Oh, I'm free. Oh. Oh. Grandma, they free me! <laughs> they free me, Grandma! I told you I'm gonna work out. Ah, God is the greatest. Yeah, that his tenure with Oakland didn't last long. And here's what happened. In his, with his tenure with Oakland. He had frostbite, helmet grievance, threatened retirement, quote unquote all in or all out, post fa his fine on Instagram, gets into it with G the GM, apologizes, no suspension, post John Gruden's phone call conversation on social media, guarantees voided, asks for release, and gets caught. Yeah. Uh, see, the. I, I can't imagine how much drama one person can make up. Literally, the news in sports today was 100% Antonio Brown. He. His tenure with Oakland ended before it could even begin. Pretty much a few a couple hours after his release from Oakland, he signs with none other than the New England Patriots. It's a one-year deal worth up to fifteen million dollars. So, yeah, the Patriots secured the bag for ring number seven, I believe. The the Patriots now have. Antonio Brown, Josh Gordon, Julian Edelman, not a Hall of Famer, Marius Thomas, and as soon as he gets off of IR, Nikhil Harry. Yeah. Oh, um, my God. This season is going to be crazy now. Just think, if you, go, if you follow, like, NFL meme accounts, like I do... Most of them were joking around about Antonio Brown signing with the Patriots and such. And pretty much memes including him and Bill Belichick. So what turned out to be a joke ended up being reality. Yeah, so he's a Patriot now. 
Um, safe to say the Patriots, I'm not going to be surprised if the Patriots go undefeated again. This is Brady's best receiver since none other than Hall of Famer Randy Moss. And we all know how his, um, his tenure with the uh, Patriots turned out. Only a uh, record setting 23 touchdown receptions in 07. Also given Brady, at the time, NFL record for 50 touchdown passes in the season. What's funny too is that history is repeating itself. Randy Moss, he went from Oakland to New England, only it was through a trade. But with Antonio Brown, he was caught and then signed to the Patriots, so... Yeah, um, not surprised that Patriots go undefeated. Important thing, fantasy owners, he will not be playing tomorrow against Pittsburgh because the contract can't be inked until Monday. So yeah, but you will see him week two. Well, we know who's winning the Super Bowl now. What would be pretty messed up too is if Gronk comes back. If Gronk comes back, that they literally are going to win this Super Bowl. One thing I forgot to mention while recording is that Gronk said on radio that he'll come back if Tom Brady calls him to come back. Like, it's going to seal the deal for them to win it. Because then, then you would have A.B., Gordon, Edelman, Thomas, Harry, Gronk. That's if he comes back. Safe to say that the league is fucked. This is Michael Zavaris. Thanks for watching this today's episode of Chef's Sake.